All right, joining me now here on the Matthew Filipovich Show is Greg Michaels. Greg is the spokesperson for Indiana Governor Mike Pence. Greg, thank you for being on the show. Oh, yes, Matthew. Well, normally I discriminate against those I speak to, but today I'll make an exception. Okay, well, speaking of discrimination, last week, Governor Pence signed into law a bill that legalizes discrimination against lesbians, gays, bisexuals. And and, and don't forget the transsexuals. We have a whole lot of discrimination planned for the trans community here in Indiana. Don't you worry. But it's 2015. Why on earth are you doing this? Well, we're doing it because we are leaders here in Indiana, Matthew. Leaders in hate. Leaders in intolerance. I mean, hell, Arizona Governor Jan Brewer actually vetoed a similar bill in Arizona, and she hates everyone, especially brown people. (laughs) In your face, Arizona. Look, you're making my point. Even Jan Brewer seemed to know that this was a bad idea. Matthew, this is the new Indiana we're talking about. We want to be the... Destination for America's hate-filled homophobes. What are you talking about? Matthew, pretty much everywhere in America is moving forward on equality. I mean, 37 states now allow same-sex marriage. Most likely the Supreme Court rule for equality this term. Well, we here in Indiana are looking for a way to distinguish ourselves. I mean, currently, what do people know Indiana for? A stupid car race? That's not enough. We have figured out a way to boost tourism. We are ready to bring those big buku bucks back to Indiana, baby. But but you've already had several conventions announce that they are canceling and moving to another state because of this bill. Well, sure, we lost some conventions, but we think we can make up for that. Here in Indiana, we're catering to, um, well, the refined bigot, Matthew. The refined bigot? Yeah, see, I mean... Where are homophobes supposed to go on vacation? I mean, somewhere where everyone is treated equally and able to purchase goods and services without discrimination? No, sir. We need a place of our own. And now we do. Indiana. So wait, you really think this will be good for Indiana's economy? I don't see how it won't be. I mean, sure, many businesses, including Salesforce, have announced they're halting all plans in the state. But we're hoping to attract a new kind of business. The kind of business that hates and discriminates against gay people. But that doesn't... Now, look, we're hoping, the fingers crossed, that maybe, maybe we can get the homophobes from Duck Dynasty to relocate to Indiana. Huh? Wouldn't that be great? Or what about Hobby Lobby? I mean, their Obamacare latest lawsuit is an inspiration to us all. I mean, come on. Come to Indiana, Hobby Lobby. Oh, oh, and let's not forget Chick-fil-A. Come on, move your hate chicken corporate offices to Indiana. I'm not even... We can go back to the good old days where certain people weren't allowed to sit at lunch counters, right? Yeah. I mean, what's great about this is it's all about God, G-O-D, God. And and sure, the religious freedom argument has been used to to justify slavery. I mean, justify segregation, justify bans on interracial marriages. I mean, we want to bring those type of arguments back. You want to bring them back. Oh, yeah. And not just those. You see, Matthew, it's not just about discriminating against gays. You see, the new religious freedom law means we can discriminate against all types of things. Leviticus 19.19 says, you shouldn't wear clothing made of mixed fabrics. Well, now our businesses can refuse those that are wearing unholy fabric blends. Uh, Oh, and now we can buy slaves, too, and stone our daughters, you know, because the Bible tells us to. Yeah, Indiana will be a holy mecca of hate. We're going to go. Greg Michaels, spokesperson for Indiana Governor Mike Pence. We'll be right back. Indiana! We put the in in intolerance.